Hello and welcome to another episode of the single player series. As you can tell, I did a bit of work, but um, I gotta go get some stuff real quick. Alright, I'm back. Um, now we're gonna make this little tower. Uh, but first, oh, there's some bad guys down there. Let's get rid of these. And I put those chests somewhere. Come on. You have a flame bow. Oh, 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 oh. Ow. Wow, they t gave me a beating. That's for sure. Half health. Um. Is that another guy? Why am I whispering? Alright, uh. But this is where I put the things. Six. Yeah, that's good enough. Six for each, but one will have only five. Um, I thought I had a lot more than this, but I guess I don't. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we're gonna need three more in this one, two, and two for that one, though. Because there's gonna be a horse in each stall. Possibly a baby whore. Ow. Jerk. Okay. Let's get back up here. Uh, but yeah, those mealworms, they actually escaped into my room. Which probably sounds gross to you, but... Um, um, it was for me, too. <laughs> uh, but it was kind of funny because... I found out that if you kind of pinched on their neck, like they're, uh, um, alright, but I found out that, uh, if you pinched, like, below, like, their head, like, on their neck, sort of, um, a bit lower than their head, um, you can sort of paralyze them, actually. Um, I wouldn't call it paralyzing, but, uh, more like uh, making them unable to bite you because they have a, a little mouth and some pincers but um, and they're so big it kind of actually hurts sometimes but uh, overall it doesn't really hurt I don't think I've been all out bitten by one but um, they get angry that's for sure they'll like start flailing their bodies everywhere it's a bit strange, but uh, it's actually kind of funny too, so it's not bad, but um, hmm, that looks okay. I'll keep it. Um, I didn't have any jungle wood, so that's probably why I used stone brick. Uh, yeah, that doesn't seem to fit right. I'm gonna change that to jungle wood. Oh, hi, guy. Want some? Come get some. Where are you? Oh, you're teleporting everywhere. Eh, never mind. I'm gonna change this to jungle wood real quick. Mm, that looks a lot better, actually. Uh, I kind of feel that it's a bit too tall. It looks like a church thing or something. Yeah, so I'm gonna tear this down real quick and lower it one block. I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back. Um, this is what it looks like from in here. I think I'm gonna keep this um, exposed, like I won't put a floor there because I will never go up there. I'm gonna put some lamps up there, that'll look pretty cool. I have to figure out some lighting um, for these places. I'm probably gonna put glowstone instead of these logs because as you can tell there's nothing there that expo is exposed from um, the bottom. Like, their columns and the stairs cover up that block so it doesn't really matter. Um, but let's go see what it looks like. Yep, and I got saddles in there when I get horses. I think I'm gonna put some pigs in here too. That looks much better.
I actually really like that now. I think the stone brick wasn't making it look good. And I made sure not to make it as tall as I did. It looked like it was too tall. Uh, but this looks actually really good. So I'm gonna keep that. I gotta get rid of this still. So I'm gonna go grab some lamps and put them up there. Along with a bunch of glowstone. I probably have to go to the nether now and get some glowstone. So that should be interesting. Alright, I am back. And as you can tell, I went to the nether and got redstone lamps, red, well, I already had redstone torches, and just regular old glowstone. Um, that silk touch um, pickaxe I just got, um, it worked well. It was silk touch, so I just silk touched everything. And I got some, oh, I put it away, but I got more nether quartz as well. I'm thinking of putting a light in the top and not the floor. I think that would look a lot better. So let's go up up here and get the lighting situation fixed. Okay. So first off, let's just get this glowstone in, and while I do it, I'm gonna talk. Um, I've gotten a lot of good feedback whenever I talk about geckos. Um, they are pretty awesome, so they deserve good feedback. <laughs> um, but I'm gonna talk about them some more. Um, they're a lot different than other types of geckos, like they're... Um, the most different out of the group that I know of. Uh, by group, I mean the geckos. Uh, is that all right? I think so. Yeah, that's fine. Um, but the traits that they have that make them that way are um, that most geckos actually have um, little tiny things on their feet that are um, that's how they stick to everything um, like most geckos can like climb up walls vertically perfectly fine they don't care they're just like chilling there they don't care um, but leopard geckos don't so that's a unique trait they have also something is the fact that they um, actually have eyelids. Um, if you have ever seen a lizard or something lick its eyelids, it's probably a gecko, um, usually because geckos don't have eyelids. So um, it's, it's just like a um, thing that most geckos have. but not leopard geckos. Uh, what else do they have that the other ones don't? Uh, hmm, let me think about this. This one's hard. They all look a bit different than um, each other sometimes. So let's put one right here. And right here. And right there. Yeah, that's good. Let's go do it on all the corners. Um, but mostly um leopard geckos are just like other geckos. They're geckos, so makes sense. Uh did I do it there? Right. Yeah. I don't really like that. I guess I'll have to live with it. Let's see what this looks like. Yeah, that looks horrible. Um, 
Gotta use my axe. I'm gonna try to figure out something. I'll be right back and we'll continue our talk about geckos. What do we do here? Oh, I see what we have to do. Did I just hear a gas? I sure hope not. I don't wanna die. I don't really die usually to gas. Gas usually knock me off things. Other than that, they're um, annoying. Just annoying. But, um, in real life, that would be really weird. Like, just imagine a gas floating through town blowing everything up. Ow. I know, I see a skeleton. He's gonna be shooting at us all day. Alright, I'm with the gecko talk. Uh, when a female and male leopard gecko meet for the first- no, I'm joking. Uh, but any t any way, not time. Uh, another good feature about the leopard gecko is they're very- f oh, we meet again. Oh. Um, they're very sweet. They're kind of calm, docile, because they're nocturnal, and in the day they're all like relaxed and happy. Like, it looks like they're smiling or something, but they're not really, actually. Um, but they close their eyes, like if they come out to drink their water or check on how the other geckos are doing. They like each other as well, just disregard each other's personal space. Just, oh, ow. He wasn't expecting that. Um, but anyway, they're, they're very calm, respectful things. Except when it comes to other geckos' personal space or something. Uh, oh, we have to get rid of a bunch of this junk. We may do that actually. Okay. Anyway, I think I'm gonna bury these lights in uh, hay because this is gonna be like the hay loft. Because when you go to a farm, well, um, in America, that's about all I know. Like, I don't know if the other farms in different countries are different or what, but the ones in America usually have. Uh, big lofts with a bunch of hay in it, sort of like a storage. Um, so we're gonna put hay and surround the glowstone with hay, um, maybe just a little bit, but yeah. Okay. But um, they're, since they're nocturnal, they're very tired, so just kind of chillin', you know. They're very calm and sweet, except when it comes to nighttime. They're still sweet, but they're crazy. Like their eyes turn completely black, and they can flip out easily. They all try to get out of the cage at night. It makes me feel guilty, but um, believe it or not, leopard geckos like live as twice as long in captivity than they do in the wild. Um, they probably get eaten by people, which is horrible. Uh, okay. Like that, perfect. Which is horrible. I'm sure they don't taste good. Uh, I haven't bitten my gecko, so I really wouldn't know. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, oh yeah, we're gonna do one of these. There's so, a lot of them are different than others. Depends on the lane, I guess you would call it. Like, the hallway one. Like, the one leading down. I haven't done anything down there yet. Actually, I did a little, but not much at all. What was I talking about? Um, hmm. Oh, yeah. Um, crazy geckos at night. They're, like, really hyper. Like, have you ever um, experienced, like, get a sleepover? Um, and you stayed up till like 1 or 2 in the morning or did you even sleep at all? 
Uh, you go kind of crazy. And you laugh a lot. Oh, that's what happened to me, at least. Uh, haven't been to many sleepovers. Probably just because I'm, just, I'm so shy. Probably been invited a lot, but I haven't had the guts to go. A lot of non-shy people don't understand uh, how the shyness affects affects um, the people like they don't understand like why it's so hard to not talk but um, I understand probably because my entire life um, since public school has been stressful so not fun but life isn't always good life is sometimes bad but gotta live with it because it's life One of these. Have more. Darn it, don't. Um, I'm gonna walk back and I'm gonna talk while I do. Um, there's quite a few shy people out there. Um, I used to be friends with a lot of shy people. Oh, a lot of talkative people too. Like they just kind of sit there and they do all the talking, which was nice. <laughs> um, but I haven't always been that way. As a kid, I was always like energetic and I talk, talked a lot and I, I like praised myself. Like I was self confident. I had a lot of self confidence, so it wasn't um, as bad. Oh, that's a ton of glowstone. I'm glad I harvest some. This should be good enough, but we'll see. Um. But I think public school is a horrible place. Unless, of course, you can take it. But um, it drove me nuts, pretty much. Uh, hmm. Looks good still. Didn't change, I guess. Alright, um, let's keep working on this. I can't see the sun when it's raining, oddly enough. That is weird. You should be able to see the sun, unless those are... Oh, wrong thing. There. Okay. Just jump through here, like we always have. Yeah, we should be fine. It's all really bright in here. Um, when I was working on the exterior, I um, kept bumping into monsters falling out of the rafters, like the upper place here, um, which wasn't good, but uh, it wasn't bad. Um, I'm just glad no creepers fell on me. If they despawn, I don't really care. Okay. Okay. Now let's fill the half slabs in here. But anyway, um, um, I don't know how I got to that topic. Oh well. Uh, they. Oh yeah, I remember. The geckos just act crazy at night. Um, something they do. So they're actually really hyper, but um, if you saw them at a pet store, they'd probably all be huddled together cuddling or something. The babies are known to do that, the hatchlings. Um, speaking of which, I'm expecting some hatchlings soon, which is extremely exciting. Uh, some advice I'd give to someone that um, wants to breed them. It's actually quite difficult unless you like research it a lot. I did research it a lot. Like I researched my heart out. Um, I don't think I've ever researched um, as much as I did when I wanted to breed the geckos. Um, there's so many things you can do wrong. I've messed up 
actually. A lot of the eggs um, have died because the um, the stuff I've put on in with the eggs, like it's really soft. It's called perlite. I use vermiculite now, but the the perlite it was miracle grow, and I should have known that that stuff has a bunch of chemicals in it and it actually affects the eggs um, so the stuff that I put the eggs in in the incubator like it's just like a thing that keeps a constant temperature um, of the hatchling like if you want a male you're gonna wanna have a higher temperature and a female is lower um, around 82 is female and I think almost 90 is male. So it's actually in a tight um, space between different th um, amounts of temperature. So it's very interesting, uh, very interesting stuff. I know a lot about them. Uh, I have a book on it. Um, my parents got me. I love my parents. You guys should too. They put you in this world. That's a good thing, or you wouldn't exist. I've always got mad at people, or kids in general, that aren't nice to their parents, you know, even if their parents aren't, are nice to them, but um, that's just me. I kind of, um, maybe I don't understand that not everyone has the best mom ever. That's what I think of my mom is. My dad's cool too. Um, let's see. This should all be lit up perfectly fine, even without these torches. Oh yeah, I have to put those lamps in now. All right. Um. So the perlite, the bad stuff that I was putting the eggs on, um, didn't say anything on the package. It's like gardening stuff. Um, I should have known, to be honest. Um, I looked for like chemicals, like there's chemicals in this, be careful. They honestly should, I mean, if someone ate that, they'd probably die. So that's not good. Okay, let's check out, oh we have to do this side here. We actually don't even need these for... Yeah, those are fine. Hmm. I think I'm just gonna take these out on this side. We don't need them. Let's put some logs here. We need these. I know you can't see them, but still. Alright, um, what else should I talk about? driving like um i hope someone that watches this learns something about driving the one thing that i always remember that is a very that is very important is that you have to assume that everyone else on the road are complete idiots because people do pretty dumb stuff i've seen people like almost hit a median on a left turn because they're on a cell phone. I mean, cell phones are pretty much death, death things, uh, death, death machines. Because, well, maybe it's not the um, cell phone. It's just some people are um, not the smartest and do that. I mean, it doesn't mean they're not smart. It just means that they're like, eh, I, I won't die. I won't get in a crash. I'm very good with this kind of stuff. I can multitask, um, but the truth is, you shouldn't do that, no matter how good you are at multitasking, because you will die, sadly, sometimes. You might just get hurt, your car might just get trashed, but you just gotta think that everyone else is gonna do something dumb, so you always wanna be careful, um, especially around your surroundings. Um, that's very important. 
Let's try to get rid of everything here. All the torches. Let's see these light levels. Okay. Yeah, they're all good. Perfect. And these should definitely be fine. Yeah, they're all fine. If the corners one are, every single other one is. Alright. Glowstone looks pretty good. I just wanted to use glowstone instead. And also, I might change the color of these. Uh, it'll just look a lot better. It looks really plain. Like, there's not too much color in it right now, but I'll do that off camera if I want to. If I come around wanting to do something. Um, that's an extremely important thing. I don't think uh, driving schools or whatever um, you have is like a driving thing, a driving class. Um, I don't think they'll tell you that normally. I think it was my parents that did. That's why I think so. so. Maybe they did, maybe they didn't. I don't know. I'm not a professional. Oh, nope, don't want to go in there. I'm not a horse. Well, I don't know, it would suck if they Mojang announced that they, they aren't adding horses to the game after all. And I'd be just sitting here in a giant stable that I just made for no, absolutely no reason. Except pigs, but pigs are pigs. You don't need like a giant stable for them. They're kind of dumb. good. These bigger ones, I think I'm gonna have the breeding um, ones. There's only four because um, the staircase in the middle right there, you can see it. I can't put um, fence gates right there because that's like a thing and this side's actually even worse. Um, so I wouldn't do that. So I just went ahead and made four of them bigger. Uh, one, two, three, four. Is that all? Yeah, I think so on that side. Wait, any here? Yeah, I'll get that on the when I'm on the other side. Uh, I think driving. A lot of people, I don't think, like driving trucks because they're so big. Um, yeah, the gas mileage sucks usually, but um, um. They're actually intimidating. I have a blue Suburban and the thing's massive. I mean, it's so old, it has so many miles. I can't even count them. I can't say the number, so I won't even try. Um, but we went on vacation. We took um, our camper that we used to have. We sold it, but um, take that around with it. And that hurts trucks, I'm pretty sure because the trailers are so heavy. I almost forgot, but I didn't. Huh. There. All right, I'm back, and I just wanted to show you an overview of the place. Looks really good. I really like it. I gotta light that up still, obviously. Um, probably do that with glowstone off camera, but well, I'm gonna wrap this episode up, so if you have a good rest of your day, bye bye.